serious? What? Please tell me there's a checkpoint. Please tell me there's a checkpoint. Oh my goodness. Oh. What is this checkpoint? Come on, dude. You're having me on here, Chief. Dude, they, they don't walk out the door. What am I supposed to do? God damn it, dude. Watch my ass while I open this door. Keep those assholes off my back. Almost got it. Hold them off just a little longer. Bro, he's shooting me. He's not even looking at me. Okay, got it. We're out of here. Up, come on. I'm coming, bro. Let's try this again. Third time lucky. Yeah, let's go. We got this. I believe. Freeze, police. No, I'm not There's freezing. No way out. Put your hands up. Dude, the checkpoint on this bit here is awful. It is absolutely Fuck. abysmal. Like, seriously. If only I had like a grenade or something. <laughs> we gotta go this way, it's our only shot. Come on, Vito, move I'm coming, ass. bro. You know the cops behind us, yeah? Crazy, it's covered in ice. One slip and we're dead. We got no choice. I ain't going to the joint. I ain't going to the joint. Okay. See, they just don't come out. There's one right there. We good? Wait, there's more? Bro, how about you try and kill the police instead, yeah? Jeez. Oh my lord. Oh, this isn't gonna go well. Get your ass over here. You waiting for a formal fucking invitation? Yes. Over there, shoot! Shit, Jesus, be careful. I almost lost you there. Yeah, I think I just shit myself. Where'd they go? They must have gone this way, Sarge. Oh, fuck that. I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. This way. This oh my god, I almost fell street. off. Jesus Christ. We well, almost fell off. Come on, Joe, move your ass. Shit, cops! For goodness sake. Freeze! Police! There's no way out! Oh my god, my aim is terrible! God, my controller aim is abysmal. Is he gonna fall off the roof anyway? Almost got it. Hold him off just a little longer. Okay. Run. Run. Hendrix, I'm not getting caught again, Joe. Let's go. Chop chop. Bastards. Let's go. Chop 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 chop. Fuck off, copper. I didn't do nothing. Look at the Irish my ass. Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill. Crazy Mick bastard. Not too bright. Usually works as high as Not too bright. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. Uh oh. 
Shit, the cops. Come on, get out of the light. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Don't worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. All right, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pinched on the way there. Try not to get pinched. <laughs> right. I'll do my best. Wait. To end the day, go to Joe's. Okay, can we get out this way in the... No, it's a dead end. Nice. Good talk. Excuse me. You know, just casually, just chilling, you know, just looking for a car to steal, no worries. How far away is Joe's? Oh my lord. Just casually looking for a car to steal, don't worry about it. You don't see anything, sir. You're drunk. Yes. Drink from the bottle, my friend. Nice. Suspect is about six feet tall. Are you Don't kidding? Care. Copy that. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm dead here. Oh. Calculate. How are you still shooting me through a wall? We're pinched. We're pinched. Step on it, boys. Dish this car ASAP. Need to dish this car, this clothes, everything, dude. It needs to be gone. bullshit on that god damn it this car so slow go Is there a way off this bloody highway? I had to go all the way around just to avoid the cops. And to be fair, me avoiding the cops just took me to two more cops. Nice, dude. Nice. So us trying to go the other way resulted in running into two more sets of police. Nice, man. Luckily they can't drive. Neither can I. Excuse me, coming through. Yes, yeah, excuse me. Thank you. So 
Ray in the way. Nice, dude. Smooth. Smooth. Don't worry, we'll just leave the vehicle there just because, yeah, it's not really, they're not that smart. It's fine. They're NA cops. Lol. We'll just leave the, the suspect vehicle outside of where we live. Because they're not that smart. Can confirm. Nice. Night shift. The buzzsaw. Joe's apartment, February 20th, 1945. Hey there, handsome. Uh, hi there. Hi there. How can I? Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Right, are you going to help me get dressed? Oh, no, I'm helping you. Again. Okay, that's a shame. We could have party. Hmm, maybe next time, doll. Bye. Okay. Huh. That was something. Yes, it was. Drive to Freddy's to meet Joe for lunch. Okay. Should we just take the same car out again? <laughs> just be like, yo, bitch, what up, mate? Oh, they're not there anymore. Feels bad. Fuck you, stupid broad! Whoa! If you can't drive, stay home where you belong. Whoa! Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. One of one of the many girls. Smacked up my car. I'm gonna smack up yours. What's that, bitch? Get my fucking car! Hey, pal, knock it off. You wanna pick on a woman here? Fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. This guy's a greaser. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? Exactly. Was she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word. Right. And you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. You wanna go, bitch? <sighs> Come on, huh? Come on, B. Oof, too slow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 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 Yeah, that's what I thought, huh? Huh? Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, piece look, of I, pie. I, I really gotta get going. Code word. Mm, you like it, I promise. Yes. I Pete. gotta get going now. I'll see you around. I'm sure you will. Yes, you will. Wait, are you not gonna wait? Can I take his car? Nah, dude, my car's much better than that. Our car is much better. Much, much better. Do I have to repair it? No, let's go. Oh man, I wonder what happened to him. Oh, oh. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Oh man, what a shame. Just run him over, dude. Oh. What a shame. Such a nice guy. I didn't realize how close Freddy's bar was. Did not realize. Hey, fellas. Hey, hey, Vito. This is Luca Garino. He like to talk nice to you and to Joe. You. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. 
What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salud. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Thanks. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. Oh, I wonder why. So now, uh... I'm wondering if you are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure. Uh, what next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. What, to dinner? Just because someone oh, points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People oh, you mean take him out as in... Got it. Got it. Not, to, not for dinner, you know. Not for a nice, you know. <laughs> That's good. The Pizza Express, yeah, Nando's. I like that. <laughs> yeah. But you're, uh, you're talking about the crowds, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Mm, yeah, sort of. I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one, and there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. Initiation fee? What? And how much is that? Five grand a piece. What? <laughs> That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? 5K? Now, trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. I feel like I'm getting schemazed. In on the rest. I'll see you guys later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah. It's all under control. That's and what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, don't. I, I, uh... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. Oh, die. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take How embarrassing must that be? It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Jesus. <laughs> and is he? Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Um, uh, um, an, a machine gun. Where are we getting an MG-42 Right, from? we're just gonna pull that out of Harry. our house somehow. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. Okay. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay. Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Got it. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. Thank you very much, Joe. <laughs> Appreciate that, bud. Pick up the hardware from Harry in Kingston. On it. See you just, later. just casually picking up a machine gun, you know, don't worry about it. You iron up my car, bud. No, I didn't think so. Didn't think so. Just casually gonna pull a machine gun out, you know. As you do. Easy, just pull it out, dude. No problems. Uh, how far are we going? Okay. I do miss no, not having the radio on, to be fair. But, unfortunately, we can't have it on. I've heard some of the music from this game is in uh, Fallout 76 as well. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Yeah, I'm speeding, alright, try and keep up. Roger that.
Oh, what was that? Can you not keep up? Oh, what a shame, dude. Woo! Damn. That was some air time. Just run the red light while you're there. Don't worry about it. Ring, ring. Yeah, who is it? Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Come on in. Ba -na 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 -ba -na 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 -na. Yo, what up, man? Hello. So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. Nice. MG42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber. 1,200 rounds per minute. Fastest in the world. 250 round belt. Three quarters of a mile effective range and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting. But unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, no I'm good. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait, are you kidding me? Where, where were you? you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no, Africa? All right, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? And that was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy. We <clears> hit Utah Beach. And yeah, that wasn't no picnic neither, but I was crawling over the fence on the way back. I Go, this guy could talk, eh? Okay. on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, guy, I really got to get going. <laughs> All right. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. Yep. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. Oh, uh, of course. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, thanks. Let me just put the MG nice in, in, in my trunk, dude. Don't Guns worry about it. Guns in the crate. And there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. Let me just load it into into the tr into the trunk, yeah? No worries, dude. Hey, be careful. Appreciate that, bud. See you around. See you. Wait, we're we using a okay. We're using a different car. So I bring my car. We're not using my car. Oh, it's not even. Oh, it's over there. Dun, 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 dun. Drive the van safely to meet Henry and Joe. Safely. So you don't you don't mean like hit every car on the way, yeah? Just hit every single car, man. Okay. How far away is that? Oh, Jesus. Excuse me, coming through. You know, casually just have an MG in the back of the, in the, in the van, dude. Don't worry about it. It's literally just another day. Oh. Okay. I mean, it's fairly, it's fairly straight road. We should be good. Should I just floor it? I mean, to be fair, I don't think this goes very fast. Oh. I 
don't think it goes too fast. I could be wrong. But this thing probably weighs a ton in the bag. Just let go of the gas and just, just go for it. Just go for it, dude. That was calculated. Calculated, dude. <clears throat> Alright, we're here. We are here. Apartment 233, Misery Lane. Two hours later. Sleep on the job, Joe. Typical. Typical. Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Uh, will you buy your ticket? Don't be a smart ass, Joe. <laughs> My father was a, a man of honor. And things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. <clears throat> My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up. So, he sent me to America and got me a job working for Pimenti. Can you make yourself any more obvious standing in the window? <clears throat> standing in the window, like... Like, so like... what happened to you, father? He said he was... Can there be any more obvious? Trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the <laughs> building. Get ready. All right, I'm Dude, on. Dude, you guys got an LMG right. in the window, sure. bro. They got guns up there in that window. Oh my days, dude. We got them all. Stop shooting that fucking thing. I'm going to jump over here. Oh, man, that was funny. Wait, what was the prompt for this? Oh, close the door. Let's see if there's any more magazines, bro. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh my! <laughs> oh my! Got him! You're fucking dead! Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going in! Stay sharp, Vito! Alright, Vito, go, go, go! Man, you're a terrible fucking shot! Move it, Vito! We can't let that fat bastard get away. Bro, where's he gonna go? He's in the building. Tell me okay, where he's gonna go. You first, Vito. You're the fucking war hero. Go, go, come we'll cover for you. you, Porky. I'm going in. We're coming for right, you, Vito, Porky. Oh fuck! Watch out! What the fuck was that? Wait, what the hell is going on? God damn it, now this whole fucking place is gonna burn to the ground. What a waste of booze. That's the fucking best you got. <laughs> okay. We just got shot in the back, like, for all my HP. Nice, dude. Nice, 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 nice. Tim, waste that fucking Dude, these checkpoints are so bad. Stop They're so that bad. Thing. I'm going deaf over here. I assume it counted for the uh the magazine, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> 